What is going on everyone, Ted Carr here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to outline your course in a very fast and effective way. In fact, this is probably the fastest and most effective way of outlining a course, and I know that because I've tried many different ways of outlining courses with myself and with my students, and the way I'm about to show you right now is by far the fastest and most effective way, and it's really, it's, it's gonna give you the most certainty on knowing that your course is the shit. It's gonna give you the most certainty and confidence in your own course. And that is so huge, that's so important, because you need to be confident in your course in order to sell it. You need to radiate confidence in order for people to feel certain about buying it. So here's the outline that I work with my students on inside of Course Creator Academy. And uh, if you're already in the academy and you want more help on implementing what I'm about to show you here, Make sure to hop on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday call. If you're not in the academy yet and you want some help with all of this, then you can visit coursecreatorcall.com and you and I can get on a, a game plan chat and we can discuss what it would look like for you to outline a course like this and how you can go about selling it. So let's get into it, shall we? What I'm about to show you is, there's no, I don't have a name for this system yet, but Jordan Belford, the guy from the Wolf of Wall Street, he calls his like phone sales system, the straight line system, because he talks about how like when you get prospect on the phone here, the goal is to just talk to them like that and then get them to, to sign up right there and pay you. And if you go off topic, you're going off to you know, Jupiter or you're going down to Uranus, he's like, you gotta stay on track, you gotta follow the straight line. And so what I'm about to show you here is kind of a straight line system as well, in that there's a starting point and there's a finishing point. And if you go off track, you're, uh, you're off topic and you gotta come back on track. So let's get into it. Your course, it's going to have a starting point and it's going to have a finishing point. And this finishing point, it needs to, if it wants to sell, if your course wants to sell well, your course needs to have what I call a quantifiable end result. It needs to, and by quantifiable, I mean like you need to be able to attach a number to it. That's the number sign. It's not a hashtag. <laughs> it's the number sign. It's the pound sign. You need, to have, you need to be able to attach a number to this. So you need to, your end of the, your, at the end of your course, you need to say to your customers who are signing up right here, you say, hey, by the end of this course, you're gonna be able to do 25 push-ups, or be at 5% body fat, or have built one house, or have saved $10,000, or gotten one date on Tinder, you know, or been able to run a marathon under three hours. Like it's quantifiable, you gotta be able to attach a number to it. And if you're thinking, oh, but I'm not sure what my end result should be, mine's kind of more just general, like you're gonna be a better person, you're gonna be like just more productive. You need to really think about how to make it quantifiable. I have other training on that, but that's outside of this video. We're gonna focus on the outline of the course here. But if you don't have a quantifiable end result, then what I'm about to show you, it's not gonna be as effective. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, what someone's buying when they're signing up here, they're buying this. They're buying this quantifiable end result. They need to be able to justify paying money, a quantifiable amount of money, in order for a quantifiable end result, all right? so. Let's get into how do we actually outline a course once we are clear on our quantifiable end result. Really simple. All we gotta do is think of what are the, generally speaking, eight to 12 big steps somebody needs to take in order to go from not having this result to having this result. Okay, so eight to 12, that can be, it can be three steps or it could be freaking 25 steps. But generally speaking, most courses do very well. It's kind of like books. Uh, most books, you know, 12 chapters, great. Now you could have 20 chapters, that's a long ass book or just very, very short chapters. But uh, most courses are generally eight to 12, but you can rewrite the script. You can do three big steps if you want, or you could do a hundred, it doesn't matter. But I like to do eight to 12. So what are the eight to 12 big steps that someone needs to take in order to get this result? All you gotta do is go like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's say nine, 10, we'll say 10 in this case, right in between, boom. So let's say the end result is they want to lose 20 pounds and have a flat stomach for summertime, okay? It's quantifiable and it's deadline based because summer's coming. So what are the 10 steps they need to do? Well, you might say the first step they need to yeah, weigh themselves and take a before picture. Next step is they need to uh, they need to go grocery shopping and load up on fruits and vegetables. The next step is they need to give away all their crappy food, give away all their junk food to the friends and family members or the neighbors or just throw it in the garbage, whatever. Third step, they need to do their fitness assessment. They need to see how many push-ups they can do, squats they can do, how fast they can run. Next step, they need to go out and buy the clothes that they want to wear in summertime, even if they're too small for them now. Okay, you get the point. They gotta, you gotta come up with 10 like major steps that the person needs to take so that by the end, by the 10th step, they are 
either they already they either have the result or they're in a position to get that result. And that's the other thing to keep in mind. Just because someone goes through your course doesn't mean at the end they're going to have this quantifiable end result. But they need to be at least in a position to get that quantifiable end result. So let's get back to it. Once we're clear on those big steps, now within each of these big steps that you've outlined, and these big steps, you just all you gotta do is give them a name. So maybe the, the first the first big step is called. Uh, I, I like to have the first step. In, in a course, something to do with like expectations. So maybe the first step is called um, a sneak preview of your future or something, like a sneak peek of what's to come. And when they watch that video, when they watch that class, they're getting like a, a the, you, you're setting expectations for them of like what they need to be able to, what they need to be doing throughout the program. And they're getting a sneak peek of like this quantifiable end result that they're about to experience. It's almost like you're like reselling them on the dream. So that's the first module. But within each, with, within this module, you need to have sub steps, baby steps. So let's say in this first module, you say there's something like, okay, they have to have a, they have to have a notebook. They have to go and buy a notebook. So that's one thing that they have. You had to add this to your checklist, right? That's one thing. Number one. Second thing they have to do is they have to write down uh, their, their their current weight, how much they currently weigh. And then the third thing they have to do is they have to write down how much they want to weigh. What's their goal? And then maybe the fourth thing they have to do is they have to take a before picture of where they're at. And you got to print it out and stick it in the notebook. Boom. So now we've got four steps for this first module. And call this module one. Module one. Boom. Now, you're going to call it something sexier than module one. Like I said, sneak peek of what's to come. But you get the idea. So from there, from there, you got to do the same thing with, with each of the steps. You just come up with a new module name and then the baby steps in between. Or not in between, but the baby steps that they have to take within that module. From there, you're going to have 10 kick-ass modules, and you're going to have, I don't know how many baby steps in between. Let's say you have 10 steps for each module, like 10 action items that they need to take to actually fulfill on this on the module's intention. So each module has an intention, and then the, the steps in the module help fulfill that intention. Once you're clear on this outline, by the way, this outline should take you a couple days to go over. Yeah, you could do it in a day, but generally speaking, when you do it in a day and you go to bed and you wake up in the morning, you look at it again, you can see so many more areas for improvement. You might decide to move module one and you might decide to put it over in module like five or something, or you might take module seven and move it to module six, like rearrange things or get rid of certain steps or add certain steps. I like to honestly take about three days to outline this just so I can sleep on it a couple nights because every time I wake up, I look at it again, I see it with fresh eyes and it always gets better. So that's how I approach that. But once you're done the outline, now you need to think about how do you actually how do you actually teach this? How do you actually teach this? Well, you could go ahead and create slides. You could go on slides.google.com and you could create a new slide for every single action item. And if you have, you know, 100 steps in your whole course, you might have 500 slides to fit them all in there. You're going to discuss things and have diagrams and all that. So it could end up being like a huge, huge, huge slide presentation, which I've done in the past, uh, but I don't do that anymore just because it's like, it's so time consuming creating all those slides and everyone does slides anyway. It's like kind of overdone. Sure. People are used to it, but at the same time, it's like, it's not really exciting. It's not new. Um, slides, they're, they're, they're difficult for you to put together and they're not really well appreciated by your customers. Customers just see these slides and like, yeah, what, so what? They don't understand how much time and effort it took to put into those slides. So what I like to do, to do instead is take all of these Take all these modules here. I'll, I'll do it live with you right here, actually. We're going to go file a uh, new window. We're going to go to Docs. And we're going to create a new Google Doc. Blank. Cool. And then what we'll do is we'll take our we'll take our course. Let's take our course. We'll take a screenshot of it so we have an idea of what we're doing. Drag that in there. Cool. So what we do is now that we're happy with, with our outline, which, by the way, you don't need to do on a computer. You can definitely do this outline on a notebook, which I prefer to do. Uh, or you can just do it on a Google Doc like I'm about to show you how to do here. So what you do is you want to type it all out. So let's say module one, a sneak peek of what's to come. And then module two, let's say, is uh, grocery shopping. And then module three is going to be creating a fitness plan, your customized fitness plan. Okay, let's just pretend that's the case. And you do all the way that down to the end of your course, which is in this case, module 10. Now within each, underneath each of these, all you have to do here is you put some steps that they have to take. So in module one, a sneak peek of what's to come there, you should get a notebook. Step two is uh, weigh yourself. Step three is gonna be write down your current weight. We can put that together. 
weigh yourself and write down your current weight in your notebook. And step three is going to be write down your goal weight. And step four is going to be take a, take a before photo with multiple angles and good lighting. Okay. Now you're going to do this for each module. You can do this for each module. However, within module two, don't start it off as number one again. Start it off as number five. See what they got to do. And the next module, don't start it off at module one, but number one, start off as number nine. Tell them what to do. Tell them what to do. Tell them what to do. Okay. Because of what I'm going to show you next. This will all make sense. So once you're clear on all the different modules names, you've gotten clear on all the different steps in between, you now need to film videos or at least link to documents they go into much more detail on each of these lines. If you just say, write down your goal weight, they're going to have so many questions about that. And well, is that my goal weight like within the next 10 months? Or is that my goal weight like within the next two weeks? Or like, what if my goal weight's not realistic? And all these questions about goal weight. Get a notebook. Okay, well, should I get on Amazon? Or like, should, I, should I get a yellow notebook or a blue notebook? Or should it be like a notebook that folds like this? Or a notebook that folds like that? Like, what kind of notebook should I get? How big should it be? How many pages should be in it? Got to go into depth on what kind of notebook to get. And so again, for that, you could just link them to, a, to an Amazon link so they click it and buy it. Or you can link them to a Google document that has much more detailed explanation of what kind of notebooks are best or different examples of notebooks, whatever. Or you could link them to a video where you explain why this is the best notebook and how they should get this and they can go to this link and they can get it there. Point is, you have a video or some further explanation each step here. Okay, now from there, once you start link and, and the way to film that video, by the way, the couple options to film that video, you could film those videos over time and keep adding them to the checklist over time. But what I find the best way, to, the way I find works best in filming all these videos is to just record your screen, kind of like I'm doing right now, or go live on Zoom with your students. If, if you have students already, if you don't have students, then that's fine. You can just go live, go on webcam like I'm right now when nobody's here in the audience. It's just me on this Monday morning. And go through and and film like I'm recording right now. Record your screen and just talk about each thing and go to certain websites. Like just go live. Go go on Amazon.com and find the notebook you want and show them what to do, what, which notebook to get, and then go come grab that link and then paste it right in here. So you can just paste the link like that and you go notebook. Boom. Let's say one note. Sure. Boom. Linked it. Okay. And so you can go you can go through this checklist live one thing at a time on on well, while you're recording the screen and that way somebody can watch they can watch the full checklist video here and they can watch a video of you going through this checklist and it might be like a four hour video i'm not sure how long it's gonna take you to go through this checklist uh, you can also do it in chunks break it up but it's cool if there's like a master video of you going through the whole thing um, that way they can go through it with you by watching that video or if they don't need to watch that video they can just go through and they can scroll through and say oh get a notebook click on that boom go with the notebook and they can just go through this on their own time and so when they come to you and say hey um, mrs mrs brown what do i do next i took my i took my before photo with multiple angles and good lighting what do i do next i'm kind of stuck and you say well have you have you gone into the second module where we talk about grocery shopping and they're like oh no i haven't done that yet and they, okay we'll do that because that's next check out uh, module two step you know five or something module two step five oh, okay now they have to do this <laughs> okay they have to do that now so this is how you can teach your course this is how you can people get soon to go through your course once you've outlined it all uh, and to get give them access all you have to do is uh give this a title course name here or you call it course name checklist and then go file share Share this link with your paying students. Copy that link. Make sure it changes to anyone with link. Copy that link. Done. Share it. And there they have the full course. Every step to go from step A to step Z or Z. Everything they need to go from start to finish. It's all in one neat organized document checklist with links to everything in depth. Okay? And what you can do, let's say you film this master video. Are you going through the whole checklist? And let's say at minute eight in the video, you talk about taking your before photo. Well, once you upload the video to YouTube, you can timestamp it and you can link to that part in the video. So I'll show you an example. Let's go to take our course. So let's click on this one. How to pick a profitable course idea. Great video, by the way, in case you're wondering. Let's say though at, at the minute uh, minute four, I talk about health and beauty. Making fitness and keeping fitness. Okay. Boom. Now I go, I want to just link them just to this part of the video because it's where I talk about this part, which is like health and beauty. I want to link to just that part of the video. I go share, 
and I go start at, and I can pick the time right here. Start at, say it starts at 359, 359, boom. Copy that link. Now, when I go paste it, it's gonna take me right there, 359. Both of that. them will sell very well. So making fitness and keeping fitness. Okay. Boom, there you go. And I take that link and I paste it right in there. Now, there's links to every part of the full checklist video. That way they don't need to jump around and try and find things. It's all clearly outlined in this checklist. So hope this video was helpful. I'm sure it was. If you've never put together a course before, I'm sure it, I'm sure this video was helpful. Uh, if you'd like help implementing this, again, if you're already in the academy, you can show up on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday call and we'll help you put this into action. And if you don't have a, a, core, uh, a coach yet and you'd like some help putting this into action, then you can visit coursecreatorcall.com. When you visit coursecreatorcall.com, you will see something like this. It talks about filling out a survey here. And you can tell us, you know, what kind of lifestyle you're living right now. Are you vegan, raw vegan, pescatarian, vegetarian, North American, et cetera? Tell us a bit about yourself. Or you can also scroll down and see what some of our students are saying. You can see some of our testimonials and read on about what we uh, have done for some of our students. And then you can, again, go ahead and book that brainstorm call with myself. And we will determine what sort of course makes the most sense for you and uh, discuss what the next steps for you would be in terms of putting together an outline like this and uh, going ahead and selling that so that you can make full-time income online with what's in here, your own knowledge. So that's it for now. Peace out, much love. Again, coursecreatorcall.com if you need some help. Otherwise, have at or have some fun. Peace, bye.